welcome back to my channel. Thanks for tuning in to another video. In today's video, we're gonna be doing something super, super exciting. Something I've actually never done before. We're going to be customizing my first ever pair of fans. So I've painted Air Force Ones and I've also painted Converse, but I've never actually had the opportunity to customize a pair of vans. So I am super, super excited. If you wanna see how I'm gonna do it and see how they turn out, stick around and let's get painting. Here are the supplies I'm going to be using to make these shoes. Here are the shoes before I start painting. They're all white classic slip-on bands. These shoes are a commissioned piece and will be based off of Juice World's Goodbye and Good Riddance album art. I've inserted the album cover here in case anybody isn't familiar with what I'm talking about. First thing I need to do, stuff the shoes. That way that when I'm like drawing on them and painting and pushing, they don't cave in. This one is stuffed and this one is not stuffed. So this is what we want, two stuffed shoes. Now that they're stuffed, I am ready to paint. Okay, I'm taking the template that I cut out and now I am drawing on what's gonna be on the front of the shoe. If I draw it on paper first and then I mess it up, that's okay, I can erase paper. I can also cut out a new template. I can mess up on this piece of paper or on pieces of paper hundreds of times. I can't mess up on the shoes. So then I will just take the drawing that I made and then I will do a graphite transfer onto the shoe. Literally be my drawing just transferred onto the shoe. So that's what I'm gonna do now. Okay, so I am just putting a coat of white paint on my shoes first. That's gonna help my graphite transfer stick a little better. Right here where I'm gonna put the text in the car is like got a nice coat so that when it dries I'll be able to transfer my drawing on there super easily. Okay, I have both shoes primed. I'm going to blow dry them and then I'm gonna do my acrylic transfer. Okay, so I have this shoe drawn on and this shoe drawn on. And I'm gonna start with this shoe first just because this is the shoe I'm more excited to do. Um, they look a little messy. That's just be from the graphite, so that'll come off and it'll be perfect. Gonna let this one dry and just let it hang out and I'm gonna start on the front of this shoe. My first plan is to do this perfectly like the album cover and then see what I feel like this and this should be. So I'm gonna do that first and then I'll evaluate. I got done today. I'll do the sides and back tomorrow. Shoot is I'm going to section this like part off almost like a stripe and keep that white and then do the background 
in like this dark gray color instead of doing just like a straight stripe i think it would be kind of cool if i could make it look like shattered almost like this phone so i'm gonna draw the shatters and then paint them going in and stippling the same way I did the asphalt on the other shoe. This is how I'm going to keep the front of this shoe. I continued the cracks like all the way down and all the way up. The front of this one is done and the front of this one is done. This is the color of the back and the side. So I'm going to do the sides yellow and then I'm going to deal with the back. Across the back of the shoes when they're together like this, I want it to say Juice World. I'm going to do the same exact thing I did for the front. I'm going to use paper to make a template of the shape of this and then I'll write out in the font that I want Juice World. When I get it exactly how I want it, then I will transfer it on to the back of my shoes. I'm going to ombre them from white to black. The yellow sides looked a little bare, so I added the parental advisory that's found on the front of the album just to add a little more detail. What I'm going to do is I am going to use this paint marker and I'm going to do like a second line of trim. And then hopefully that will make like the red and the blue back here look a little more cohesive. I am done with the painting part of this shoe. Now, the best part, acetone. And I'm just taking a Q-tip and I'm gonna go around the edges of the shoe and just get up any little spots that I got on the sole. So I'm gonna do that and I will show you what they look like when they're done. Here are the finished shoes. I loved painting vans. This was such a fun project and I hope the new owner loves these shoes as much as I do. If you liked this video, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more customized art.